Hello and welcome to Higher Maths Polynomials and Quadratic Intersection of Two Curves. So in the previous video we looked at a line and a curve intersecting. For example that cubic and that straight line there. So here we're going to have a look at the intersection of two curves. We're going to go about doing this exactly the same way we did for finding the intersection of a line and a curve. We're going to equate each equation and then solve using synthetic division. Okay, so find the x coordinates of a, b, and c. So I'm not looking for the y coordinates this time, but from the diagram we can see there's going to be three separate answers. So equate the two equations, collect them all to one side to equal zero. So we end up with x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8. Now I could use synthetic division with one. But if I'm substituting in 1, I'm going to get 1 minus 5 plus 2 plus 8, which is 6, which is not equal to 0. So I know 1 is not going to be a root, because if 1 was a root, I'll get 0. So that's, that's just, it saved me, I don't know what, 20 seconds. But because 1 minus 5, you're not even, you're substituting 1 in. So you're essentially, essentially just looking at the coefficients rather than the x terms there. If you wanted to use synthetic division, please feel free to do so. So we're looking for the factors of 8, so I'm going to try 2 next. So work through our synthetic division as always, being very careful with negative signs in particular, and we get 0. Now, as I said in the previous video, we must make this statement. If we do not make this statement, we are thrown away one mark. One mark is the difference between an A and a B, or a B and a C, or a C and a D. So at the SQA standards event I went to last year, the basically the marking team was saying, it's not that pupils can't do the hard questions, that doesn't necessarily separate an A from a B candidate. It's quite often either a sloppy numerical error, which nobody's making on purpose, or just not making the statements. Okay, so there's certain statements to be made throughout the paper, so you can be dropping two, three, or four marks, which could cost you a, an A or a B or a C if you just miss out by one or two. So make these statements every time you do your work, and it'll become second nature. So synthetic division, two is a root, so x minus two is a factor. So we have x minus two, and this one negative three, negative four gives us x squared minus three x minus four. Remember, we're solving equal to zero, so we factorize this if possible, and then solve x minus 2 equals zero, so x equals 2, x minus 4 equals zero, so x equals 4, and x plus 1 equals zero, so x equals negative 1. I did want the x coordinates of a, b, and c. Well, it's a, then b, then c. So x, a, the x coordinate of a is negative 1, x, b equals 2, and x, c equals 4. Number four, find the x coordinates of the points where the curves intersect. So again, exactly the same thing. I'm going to equate them, set them equal to zero. I like a positive leading term. So I'm actually going to bring all of this equation over to this side this time. So I have positive x cubed there. We don't need to do that. Again, f of 1, substituting 1 in, I get 1 minus 7 plus 7 plus 15, which is 16. And then I'm looking for 3, because 3 is a factor of 15. Running through the synthetic division with 3, it shows that f, equals, f of 3 equals 0. So x equals 3 is a root, and x minus 3 is a factor. Make the statement. Pupils, come on. Make the statement each time. And then I know x minus 3 is a factor, so I'll have x minus 3, x squared minus 4, x minus 5 equals 0. Factorize there. So x minus 5, x plus 1. Again, if we've done all that, that essential skills practice earlier in the year, we will be fine with that. If not, go back and practice it. Okay, it's got to be second nature to you. It comes into other topics as well. And then solve each one of these to equal 0. So our three answers are negative 1, 3, and 5 for x. Okay, you've got to be able to factorize and... If you can't, go back and do the essential skills exercise again. It will pay off over time. 